how to pass a leg and then they really don't know how to finish it. So I'm going to break it down real simple. All right, so Caleb's just going to stand straight up like a scarecrow and spread his feet outside his shoulders. And I'm going to squat down and dive between his legs. All right, and I'm going to hook with my left arm behind his knee, or behind his ankle. Sorry, his knee's down here, we got problems. All right, see how I'm hooking backwards. I'm not hooking in front, hooking backwards. And he's just going to lay his chest down on my knees. All right, so he's going to be right there in that position. Now, all I'm going to do is keep my fist towards my chest like I'm saying the pledge, and he's going to give me a little bit of a lean to the left side, okay, or to his right side, sorry. He's going to give me a little bit of a lean to his right side. Now, all I'm going to do is think about pushing my left hip on the side that I have his leg back towards his head until he's on his hip. Somebody see how he's kind of felt falling off to his hip? I'm still, when I say elbow deep, that means I want you wrapped into the bend of your elbow or whatever body part I'm talking about. Now, I'm elbow deep on his sock. I lower my butt back towards his head. My free hand is going to help get my arm elbow deep above the knee. Does everybody see I'm above the knee, elbow deep? And I'm going to continue to push back towards his head. Now, once I get him all the way to his hip, I'm going to square my hips up to this position right here. Has anybody ever been in this position before? What do you guys call this? Peterson. Peterson position. All right, you guys learned this kind of first year of your wrestling career. Don't even worry about grabbing the wrist right now. More than likely that guy will lock in our crotch and give us the wrist, and we'll give him a couple options to beat it when he locks on the crotch, but I want to focus on the finish of the leg pass. Once we get to a leg, we'll actually have to roll and pass it. We'll talk about the finish. So they're going to stand up like a scarecrow, dive between their legs, left arm hooks back. They lay down, chest over my knees. I go, say the pledge, and I don't go to my side. I push my butt back towards his head. See how my head and chest are still up? I don't do this, okay? This is not a good athletic position. If I'm here, I'm in a good athletic position. See this hand come up under, and then I re-swim above the knee. We talked about hands being above the knees on takedowns, right? He's less flexible. If I'm above his knee, now he doesn't have his knee or his ankle. If I'm down here on his ankle, he's got all kind of flexibility. So I want to get above the knee, and I continue to drive. See how my feet are driving? And then I square up. Is my butt on the mat? All right, right here. That's all I want you to focus on. Then shoot a half on your thigh. He's not saying anything, but I got a good chunk of weight right now on his belly on that subway, all right? That's not a good feeling. Any questions? Can you see it? Anybody need to see it again? Pretty simple. One more, Coach. Right? We had one request. It's okay, I can see it. You can say it if you want to. So I'm gonna dive, be whoop, dive between, back hook. He drops down, chest over my knees, and he's just hanging out. He's gonna lean a, bit, a little bit to the left. I'm gonna drive. See, I'm going backwards, not just rolling to my side. Hand comes and helps. I get above the knee, head and chest stay up. Then when I get right above the knee, I square up. Feet are in the mat, butts off the mat. If I'm sitting right here, he's just gonna flop around and do all kind of stuff. If I get my butt off the mat and I'm driving, try to sit up, really tough. Then when I start controlling this wrist, it's a, it's a, it's a wrap for that guy on bottom. Good? All right, let's get it go. This is the end of our 